Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. We are in somebody's... I don't know if it's home. It says palace, but we did get word that there's a private house somewhere. In any case, we're messing around in a place where somebody lives or works or whatever the hell. Also, I never went this way. But it looks like it's locked. A silver crest. Oh, good. Well, that little mystery has been solved. I cannot go that way, which means the only way I can go is the door I just unlocked with the computer and the ID card. In we go, right? Actually... Oh, there's two of them? My god. Best knife or the bestest knife? Yeah, it looks like when they're getting up or falling down animations, you just hit them forever. <laughs> Unreal. I'm still equipping a gun in case I get multiple zombies around me, or some, like a dog or something. Oh boy. And anyway, we are over here now. Um, this door is locked, it looks like. Silver crest again. Alright. This door is fair game. This one's locked, but whoa! I wonder if Sir Alfred is pleased with me for taking care of his little zombie problem. Also, wait a minute, did I miss something? I did. That's hard to say. Nailed it. Alright, now let's go. Because that room looked interesting. Well, there's a glowy button. And there's guns. An ant. Looks like freaking Rule of Rose over here. Ah, oh, they're those kinds of kids. Oh, that is seriously messed up. If that isn't brotherly and sisterly love, then I don't know what is. Ugh. Oh, I kind of like the uh, the rays of light shining through here. Wait, what? Wait, really? Okay. Guns from many countries are on display here. Anything with the pictures? No? Decorations, archaic military items, yeah there's no way, I'll have to come back, but I do have a freaking pirate steering wheel, 
Oops, hitting the wall. Are, are we just not gonna look at the tank? The thing looks kinda crazy. Here's another one. Nothing, all right. A model fighter plane is displayed here, okay. Visual references, war seems to be the primary theme, yeah. Battleship. Alright. Guess I'll go to the uh, the item box if I really have to. Also Oh, that music. This is something that I unfortunately did not get to show you. If I had taken the gold Lugers, then a trap would have activated, kind of like the shotgun room in Resident Evil 1, except that the room heats up. So our genius friend Steve must have tried that. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Steve is suffering. There's a message on the control panel. When the two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate it? Yes. There are switches. Push which? Uh... It looks like there's two guns. Good. Huh. That was too close. He could have just put the guns but back. I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. I do have something. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! Actually, wait. Am, am I lying? Ah, I don't know my twin pistols. Those might be semi-automatic. He wanted something fully automatic. Also, just what a pain in the ass. Well, whatever. Those gold Lugers, you'll remember there was a slot for them up in the save room. So I really do want those. Speaking of save room, though, I still think I should deposit something. <laughs> Jeez. Redfield, how dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you? Jeez. The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental team virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. 
I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> that laugh. This is one of, that's one of my favorite scenes in the Resident Evil series. Like Alfred is really unhinged and he is so fun to watch. Am I still equipped? Cool. Although seriously, I got ahead of that item room. I just love how he fires at me while he's talking. Just like, man, don't mess with this guy. <laughs> Why do I have a damn steering wheel? It just drives me crazy. I hope that's good enough. And you know, before I go away, I'm not even sure I've checked out the case. It's locked. There must be a keyhole somewhere. Secured by a simple lock, but I need a lock pick. Well, it looks like I'm a little bit out of lock. Ha <laughs> ha! Or lock pick, anyway. I don't know if I'm gonna need this right now, but that's okay. Let's get back out of here. What I kind of like about this environment is that now we know Alfred's just somewhere. That makes things a lot scarier because we've already gotten documentation and visual evidence that the guy is completely insane. You know, Wesker was cold and calculating, but this guy is berserk. Could have gone here the whole time, I guess. Oh my god, really? Pa map? Yes. And what are you, bullets? Okay. Cool find. Alright, the doors that were locked only had one big room behind each of them. It's not like, how much further does this go, you know? Alright, alright. Rusted construction materials. Well, alright, I guess I can use my wacky-ass steering wheel here. This is used to steer a ship, yeah. Sure. There's a submarine. I don't think I really steered anything, but okay. That's pretty awesome, actually. Sure. Actually, you know what? There was one other thing. I gotta stop doing this, but there was one other thing. Or not. Alright. Guess the way's watered out. I think I missed a couple of arrows, but alright. A side pack. Like in Resident Evil 2? Yeah. Why the hell wouldn't I? It does not appear to be visually represented, unlike the freaking PS1 Resident Evil 2 game. That's a little disappointing, but alright. This is gonna make my life considerably easier.
Oh, am I actually going somewhere? I climb out and there's just like krakens everywhere. Yeah, this was definitely not in the demo. This is awesome. It's all like it's like Deus like X levels of uh just like what? That's so cool. There are zombies. Okay. I have a lot of ammo. Oh, you quick turning cheater. Only I can quick turn. Yeah, suck 20 knife shots at once, buddy. And meanwhile, the first guy I actually just killed with five shots. All right. Works for me. Why not? New ink ribbon for me. Oh, there are two ways I can go. Nothing to investigate. Oh, cool. You can actually see uh, the fish. Oh, more bats. Let's just not deal with that. Possibly a control system of the airport. Powers the boarding lift. Yes. There is a lot going on here. Apparently a control panel for the lift. Push the switch. Uh, okay. Probably nothing happens. Yeah, something is missing. Well, I do have this. No, still something's missing, huh? Well, it, it freed up an inventory slot, so I can't complain too much. Let's go the other way. Jeez, no pressure. I really love the way the camera moves around. Okay, just, just go in the door. Reminds me of Resident Evil 2. There's a box down there. Wonder if they'll raise water or something. Blocked by the load. There's not much I could do right now, so I guess I'll exercise my only real option. Or is there anything in here? Oh. K402. But there's a keyhole besides, so let's just do this. Let's use the controls. There's a lever. Move it, yes. 
Oh no, it's Dino Crisis 1. Don't do this to me, that puzzle sucked. Alright, fine, fine, fine. At least this is a simple one, right? I think. Oh, it just goes. That wasn't even me. Alright. Hey! Okay, puzzle solved. Control panel for the loading lift. A warning sign is visible. The lift may not operate if power levels are low. Ooh. Oh, zombies. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's- uh, damn it! There we go. Alright, boys, step right up. One at a time now. Everyone will have a turn. Not cool. That's fine. That's less fine. Man, quit it. Oh god, that camera angle. Still yellow caution, this game is generous. Resident Evil 1 I've been dead a long time ago. Man, this game is generous with its health, although I'm still a little bit injured it looks like. Get a green herb later, I guess. Bow gun arrows, sure. More importantly, a biohazard card, or as it's known in the West, a Resident Evil card. Access control system. Control system. You like that little bit of wonky English? Control. All I can make out on the backside is caution, but the good news is that the zombies are dead. All right, we're going back. I had my fun. I'm actually gonna work my way back toward uh, the way you get to the palace. Also, I hear bats, is that okay? The answer is yes. Everything's so much more peaceful when you don't have zombies to worry about. God, th this part right here really reminds me of Deus Ex. So good. Yeah, this, look at that. Alright, so we're gonna take the submarine back. Basically, it looks like I did all of that for my biohazard card. And up we go. Oh, right. Turn the steering wheel back. I need to leave. Oh, the submarine just stays up? Alright. Yeah, this is what I missed. 
There we go. That's right. However, this is tricky. I can go in there. Not very obvious. I think I would have had to check the map for that one. That's probably not good. Oh my god, it's Resident Evil 3. Only maybe worse. Okay. <laughs> it looks like I probably want to go to the big door on the top of the screen. So let's do that. One, two, three. Like I'm going to fight that thing. Are you freaking kidding me? No doorknob. Okay. Guess we're going in that one. Stationary and related supplies. Nothing useful. Speaking of useful, I could go for an herb. I don't think my speed's impaired, but I just would like an herb. Useful. Too dark. There's a jump scare waiting to happen. Ooh, yes. There's a file. Memo on the pass number. The pass number. There's only one of those in the world. The emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room can be released with the four digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. I have just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So when it attempts to solve the problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of the biology experiment room? I've decided to use the number signed on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway, but just in case, now you know. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. Crossbow handgun. A powerful bow gun which is mainly used for hunting. Well now, I'm hunting zombies. Door lock system activating, bio experiment room, abnormal air, can't enter the pass number. This is a problem. Alright. Oh. Yup. Oh, it's a dude though. Jeez. Good news, there's no longer a time limit to save him. There appears to be no one around. A red picture's hanging in the back. I can't see the number from here. Well, that's freaky. Well, bye. Like, like I really can't do anything. Biohazard contamination detected. Oh, come on. Damn, nice. <sighs> that was close. Oh, 
Oh, hey, we have a red herb. I would like a green one, but we have a red one, so that'll, that'll be useful for later. What, a payphone, really? Also, what? <laughs> okay. Does the, does the map just show me that stuff? I guess I can't tell. The phone's not working. The line seems to be dead. Uh -huh. Oh, please. I'll get you. Whatever. Freak hell. Too bad there's no decapitation. Like in the previous three games, assuming you have uncensored versions. I guess Resident Evil 1 is uncensored in that regard. 2 and 3, though, you had to play in the GameCube. Whoa. It's one red zombie. That's one red dead zombie. Ha! Ah! Even more bow ammo. Oh, there he is. I can barely see him. Oh, come on. He's gone. Oh, boy. Now that is more like it. Not material for combining with the red herb, because I want to use it now. Well, I feel a little better already. A map of the building is shown on the monitor. It seems like I printed out. Uh, yes. That's kind of cool training facility. Oh boy, this place is big. Also, are, they, are these books anything? It's quite a mess here, nothing useful. All right. A storage warehouse, it's locked. It seems I need a special key to release the lock. Okay. I guess I'm out of here. Basically a map and health room. I'm okay with that. This door I don't think is happening. Yeah, I need a silver card. A bio well, I'm gonna hold off. Because I want to check out every available option first. Oh yeah, I have the gun. <laughs> Still, I can knife him when he's down, right? May as well get some free hits. See? Got one. Gumball, really? A vending machine. It's broken. A vending machine. I'm not thirsty right now. What, so is it not broken? I just don't want to? Really not good. All right, that's entirely on me. Nothing of interest. Well, there's somebody of interest. Also, I'm right back in caution status. I must have been just on the tip of fine. How frustrating. Wow, all right. That is like no reload time. It's pretty damn good. Also, you guys can freaking relax. Like, are you kidding me with this? 
This is why. I, this is another reason I've been using the knife. The zombies. Some are apparently bullet sponges. For God's sake! Oh, we reduced the crawling though. My goodness. Ah, uh, hello. Come to think of it, I could have used the bow gun as well. Oh, what? Oh, more? Jeez, this is amazing. It's a bow gun bonanza. Can't investigate the item on that bench. All right. Was that really it? This is just a. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> So that, that was it? Oh no, there's a, there's a second room. Oh, hi. I really like that echo. Damn it. safer already. A sauna. A lot of hot air inside. I figured. There's also a lot of zombie inside. Right, let's soften them up a little bit. I do like the echo they're giving us. Oh, the, the, the gun just killed him. Alright. Well, it takes care of the zombies, I think. Oh, nice little ripple effect. A valve is attached to the water pipe. Ah. Also, I see an item. Also, my speed is not in impaired at all. That's great. Key with tag. I'm losing inventory space, by the way. Looks like a serial number. A small key made of steel with the word storage. If you say so, I do not see that word. Whatever. It's the storage key. Control the water current. It's broken. Oh, well, okay. See ya. Alright, we got direction now. Also, yes, I have to go around. This place does not loop. Because we have that little divider. I'm still holding off on using that card. I want to go to storage. Remember this? Bowgun powder. I have ten of them. Or of it, or mm. okay, it's gunpowder for a bowgun arrow. All right. So what do I make like super arrows? Yes, gunpowder arrow. An iron bowgun arrow combined with gunpowder. So what do they like explode when they hit or something? It's kind of cool. And we are out. Alright, alright, I'll finally use the card. Give me a little bit of inventory space if I can discard it after this. Ok, 
Okay. Okay. Don't worry, it's fine. Oh, less than good. <laughs> Jeez, Alfred. Oh, I'm, I'm just playing. Um, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gotta be the first time. No. <laughs> it's not the first time in Resident Evil I've had to dodge guns with laser sights. Resident Evil Survivor. Oh. An indentation. So I'm assuming he went that way. Oh, that's what that means? Oh, I can only open it from that side? That's clever. All right. Freaking Alfred, though. Do I have a save room yet? This is ridiculous. Also, this is really moody. I like this a lot. Later games, I think, would have, like, the dust flex in the light. They like doing that. Card reader. There is a save room. Good. Let me just check out the other room because it's small. What? Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> the best. Oh my god, this guy is so theatrical. I freaking love it. Oh, that was good. Oh, hey. Well, now I'll go ahead and save. Now now I'm aware that I'm in some sort of death playground, so that's cool. And now we have the, the relaxing, don't worry, it'll be fine music. Oh man, it is gonna feel so good getting rid of my uh, excess inventory. Oh my god! We can give this to our, our jailer guy! Medicine that's used to stop bleeding. It should be used on someone who's wounded. Yeah, but the guy's been gone for like forever. But we have something. This is good. Good, it stacks. That's very good. Oh boy, I have work to do. I'm gonna hold off on my gunpowder arrows for now. Obviously this stuff is rare, so I'm gonna make this good. I'll keep the bow gun though. Um, and I'll put away the ink ribbon when I'm done with it. That's what I'll do. But I am absolutely saving.
RR. I think it's a coincidence, but I kind of like that. Work clothes, spent off hours here. The week's work schedule is written here. Great. Okay. All right. I think that covers things. So for now, it is time to stop the installments. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We did a whole lot of exploring and uh, found a bunch of cool items and made our way back toward, not the palace, but near it to a training facility and it appears that Alfred is once again on our trail. He set up a playground for us and I don't think anything good can come of what this guy considers to be play. Let's hope the games don't last too long. Until next time, everyone.